guys welcome back again to my channel and uh, before anything else i just want to thank nga pala sa mga subscriber ko sa mga nagda like sa mga nagda share ng youtube channel natin mabuhay po kayong lahat kung nasan man po kayo sana nasa mabuting kalagayan po kayo ngayon and sa mga nanood good morning dyan good afternoon and good evening po kung nasan man kayo ngayon and so for today's video let's talk about the so last chapter or the so last 1974 convention so ano nga may pag-uusapan natin dito so ano ano ba yung uh, nakapaloob sa SOLAS bakit in-implement ang SOLAS 1974 convention at ano yung significant agreement when it comes to SOLAS 1974 and siyempre ano nga ba yung pinaka importance ng SOLAS 1974 na nowadays when it comes sa shipping industry natin so without further ado let's begin so yung tinatawag nating SOLAS this is the safety of life at sea so the international convention for the safety of life at sea is one of the four pillars of international maritime organization yes po haligi po siya ng international maritime organization na nagathered sa London so bakit pa in-implement yung SOLAS so like I said a while ago in response po siya sa nangyaring trahedya sa Titanic noong April 15, 1912 sa North Atlantic Ocean. So, sir, bakit, ano ba yung pinaka-essence nung SOLAS? So, yung pinaka-essence ng SOLAS, so, sabi nga ating kanina, safety of life at sea. So, yung, uh, from the word itself, safety, yun yung pinaka-essence ng convention na to. So, sir, ano ba yung mga pinag-aaralan dyan sa SOLAS? So, meron tayong SOLAS chapter, which is in response nga sa nangyaring uh, disaster nung sa Titanic and dahil sa SOLAS nagkaroon tayo ng improvement when it comes to design, construction equipment, yung mga uh, much better fire protection and also nagkaroon din tayo ng mga rescue plane or even the helicopters. Sir, ano ba yung significant agreement ng SOLAS 1974? So yung significant agreement po ng safety of life at sea 1974 is uh, requires flag state na kailangan yung barko po is nakakomply po sa minimum safety standard when it comes sa construction, equipment, and also sa mga merchant vessel. So with that, the SOLAS is often considered as one of the most important convention of all times. So, siya po talaga yung pinaka-importante sa lahat ng haligi ng IMO. So, pag tinanong ko kayo ano yung pinaka-importante na pillars ng IMO or yung haligi ng International Maritime Organization, ito po yung sasagot natin. Yan. Safety of Life at Sea Convention. So, magbibigyan po ako ng brief summary sa nangyari sa Titanic Disaster. Titanic disaster. So, uh, in 1914 kasi, um, two years after the Titanic Disaster of 1912, which 1,503 people lost of their life. So, yung Maritime Nation, uh, the Maritime Nation gathered in London. So, anong nangyari? Inadapt nila yung International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, taking into account lesson learned from Titanic Disaster. And also, dagdag ko lang din po sa nangyaring Titanic Disaster. So, mostly po, namatay po sila dahil sa tinatawag po nating hypothermia. Yung hindi na po natin makontrol yung lamig sa katawan. Siyempre po, di ba, kapag yung Titanic kasi lumubog siya dun sa pating North Atlantic Ocean. Di ba, ang daming yela tapos iceberg pa yung pinagbunguan ng barko. So, marami po talaga uh, namatay dahil nga po sa sea temperature with the below freezing point. So, kahit 5 minutes ka, kahit sabihin mong 5 minutes ka na nandun, wala na po talaga, hindi na po talaga kaya. Lalo na lack of survival karap po sila that time. And iilan lang po, isipin nyo 1,503 yung namatay na tao tas iilan lang po atin nakasurvive na sa 500 plus approximately lang po ata. So, ang pinaka nangyari kasi sa Titanic is yung hindi nila pagsunod sa rules and regulation when it comes to lookout. So, meron po tayong tinatawag na call rate, which is yung international rules of the road. So, dahil dun, uh, nag-collide po yung parang kung malaki yung tinatawag nating passenger vessel sa iceberg. So, it is because the uh, lack of situational awareness. So, sa Rule 5 po, sa collision regulation, meron po tayong tinatawag na uh, lookout. So, sa proper lookout po, ang, ang sinasabi po doon is every vessel shall at all times maintain a proper lookout by sight and hearing, okay? As well as all available means to the prevailing circumstances and conditions so as to make a full appraisal of risk of collision. So, meaning to say, um, kailangan, kapag ka-duty ka, siyempre, kailangan mong 
maging attentive and maging alert sa lahat ng pagkakataon and siyempre sa surroundings mo kasi hindi naman natin uh, masisisi kung ano yung ilalabas nung uh, technology natin kasi minsan nagkakaroon din yan ng mga error, yung mga false error yan so kailangan talaga natin maging alerto sa lahat ng pagkakataon lalo na kapag ka duty tayo in night time tapos ang ginagawa lang natin eh kung ano-ano so yung pinalabas dun kasi si Jack at si Rose so actually hindi naman talaga siya as in Roman so ang pagkakamali dun ang pinaka essence lang nangyari dun is yung hindi nila uh, hindi sila nakapokus dun sa trabaho nila uh, nan, parang yun nga po lack of situational awareness pagkakomprehend sa mga bagay sa surrounding sila hindi nila nagawa so parang pinalabas dun talaga dun na yung love stories sa Titanic yung disaster so yun nga po kaya nagkaroon tayo ng solas chapter, papaliwanan ko po sa inyo kung ano nga ba yung mga nakapanoob. Sa chapter na to, chapter 14 po yan, so yung iba, next na natin. So, proceed na tayo sa chapter 1. So, ito na nga po yung safety of life at sea convention chapters. So, we have chapter 1, which is general provision. So, sir, ano po yung nakapanoob dyan sa general provision na yan? So, we have surveys certification, documentation, and also yung nag-inspect po sa atin, which is yung PSC or Port State Control. Okay? So, sa chapter 2-1 naman po, meron po tayong construction, subdivision, stability, machinery, and electrical installations. So, this chapter um, deals with watertight integrity, especially po sa mga passenger vessel. So, sa chapter 2-2 naman po, meron po tayong fire protection, fire detection, and fire extin extinction. So, this chapter um, elaborate the means and measure for fire protection uh, when it comes to accommod accommodation, cargo spaces, and engine machineries. Okay po. So, sa chapter 3 naman po, ito po yung tinatawag nating life-saving appliances and arrangement. So, ano naman yung mga nakapaloob dyan? So, sa chapter po na to, nakapaloob po yung tinatawag nating personal life-saving appliances po, yung uh, survival craft. Kasi, dahil dito, sa nangyaring Titanic, ayan, nagkaroon na po tayo, nag, na, dagdagan na po ng mga equipment sa barko. Uh, ganun din po sa design niya, sa construction po ng vessel. Dati po kasi ang, ang vessel po is single hull lang. But with the, the help of SOLAS Convention, with the changing of life sea practices, so nagkaroon na po tayo ng double hull. So if in case po na mabungo po tayo, meron po po tayong isang substitute uh, if in case na magkaroon tayo ng Um, un uh, unintentional reasons na pwede mangyari sa atin kapag ka nag, uh, nag-avoid siya po tayo. So we have chapter 4, radio communications. So sa radio communications po, uh, this is incorporates with GMDSS or yung Global Maritime Distress and Safety System, yung SART po, yung SART, uh, Search and Rescue Transponder, yung EPIRB po, yung tinatawag po nating emergency position indicating radio beacon and siyempre kasama din po sa radio communications yung other BHF uh, equipment or yung mga radio equipment na ginagamit natin on board a vessel so we have the chapter 5 safety of navigation so ito na po yung pinaka essence ng SOLAS or yung course ng program po namin which is BSMT, BSMRE so safety of life at sea so state of being safe So sa chapter na to nakasama po dito yung uh, uh, seagoing vessels which is from boats to very large crude carrier. So kasama din po sa chapter na to yung tinatawag po nating passage planning which is we have four uh, first stage of voyage planning, um, appraisal, planning, execution and monitoring. So kasama din po dito sa, sa safety of navigation yung distress signal. Okay po. So we have chapter 6. So sa chapter 6 po, we have a carriage of cargos. So this chapter um, deals with storage and securing of cargos. Uh, excluded po yung gas dahil sa chapter 7 po siya. So chapter 7 po, ito po yung tinatawag nating carriage of dangerous cargos. So like I said a while ago po, sa chapter 6 naman po, uh, ito po yung dinadala nila which is yung good. Okay, dito naman po which is yung dangerous cargo such as Um, oil, gas, ayan po. So, this chapter, it, it, it incorporates as well the IMDG code or yung tinatawag po nating International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code. Ayan po. So, in my previous video, nakagawa na po ako nito uh, pertaining po sa IMDG code. So, may mga classes po yun. So, visit nyo na lang po. Ilalagay ko na lang po yung link sa 
description. So next, chapter 8, nuclear ships. So dito, nakapaloob lang po yung safety code sa nuclear ships. So chapter 9, we have management for the safe operation of ships. So this chapter um, includes the um, operator or the ship owner, especially when it comes to ISM or yung tinatawag po nating International Ship Management Code. And we have the chapter 10, safety measures for high speed craft. So likewise with chapter 8, nuclear ships, so it, it is the safety code for high speed craft. Yun lang po siya. Okay. So sa chapter 11 naman po, dash 1 and 2, we have the special measures to enhance maritime security and safety. So dito na, dito na po nakakaloob yung tinatawag po nating ISPS code. Ano nga ba yung ISPS code? So ito po yung International Ship Port Facility Security Code. So tandaan nyo po, under po siya ng chapter 11, dash 1 and 2. And also we have the chapter 12 which is the additional safety measures for bulk carrier. So dito po may safety requirements safety requirements <laughs> safety requirements po tayong sinusunod which is yung bulk carrier is 150 meters above. Ayan po. 150 meters above length. So, naman po yung tinatawag nating SOLAS latest regulation. So ito po yung mga naidagdag sa SOLAS chapter po natin. So we have Chapter 13, Verification of Compliance. Sir, ano ba yung nakapaloob dito? So, sa Chapter 13, we have... So, Chapter 13 is came into force uh, 2016 po. And this is for auditing for contracting government and at the same time, International Maritime Organization Instrument Implementation Code. Ayan po siya, sa Chapter 13. So, dako naman po tayo sa Chapter 14, which is yung pinakalast. So, we have Polar Code. So, dito... Ang um, tinutukoy lang ng chapter 14 is yung ice patrol when it comes to the ship's requirement. So yun lang po, I hope na marami po kayo naitindihan sa pag-discuss ko po regarding po sa SOLAS chapter. And kung may mga suggest po kayo na pwede kong uh, i-discuss sa inyo, so mangyari lamang po na mag-comment po kayo sa baba, Ayan, may comment section po dyan. So pwede po kayong mag-suggest ng kahit ano po regarding po sa academics. Maraming salamat po.